In this video, we're going to compare two sentences. This sentence you've already seen. I hope that the cake is chocolate. And we, you know, diagrammed it all out and we got this whole concept of the noun clause with the intro word that. But you guys have seen the word that before. So now we're going to compare that sentence to this sentence. Fred adopted a dog that loves fetch. Uh, in our main clause, we need to find our main verb. And you guys can think of it in your head as we go along. The main verb is adopted. What is the subject of that verb? It is Fred. And what is the direct object? What is the thing that was adopted? It is dog. All right, cool. Uh, now we know we're going to have that love special. That's going to be an adjective clause, right? Because it's telling us more information about the dog. And we got to figure out the verb inside of that adjective clause. It is loves. And what is the subject of that verb? It is that. And what is the direct object of that verb? It is fetch. Uh, that loves fetch. So the thing that was loved is fetch. The thing doing the loving is this representative word for dog. And that word is that. And then we need to put our connection line on the correct side. We want that, which is our representative, corrected, connected directly to dog, which is what it represents. So there we go. So this is our diagram for this sentence. And you'll notice the word that is not an intro word here. The word that is a representative. And so it's a, it's a pretty big difference, right? So this thing, the word that is an intro word, this thing, the word that is an active part of the modifying clause. This is going to be a key difference between noun clauses and adjective clauses. And one of the biggest reasons I want you to know about this is I don't want you guys creating some kind of ridiculous rule that says, okay, anytime I see the word that, I know it's a noun clause, the end. That's, that's not going to work. And you can't do the opposite rule either. Anytime you see the word that, it's an adjective clause, the end. you got to be flexible, right? We can't create these one-to-one -one correspondences. We can't create hard and fast rules all the time because realistically, unfortunately for you guys, English has exceptions to every rule. Don't worry. If you can think of a rule, we can think of an ex exception for it. Um, that's just the way that English is. So it's not about creating hard and fast rules. It's about being flexible and understanding the nature of the thing. We always, anytime you're, you're, you know, approaching these things, you find the verb, you find the subject, the thing doing that verb, and then you find the direct object if there is one. And that's your process. Then you look and you see, okay, there's a clause, got to find the verb inside that clause, subject, direct object. There you go. And then at the end, if you happen to have some extra words like that or because, we've had that before in, a, in an adverb clause, if you have those extra words, then maybe those are the intro words and you can start to think about that. All right, cool, let's practice.